Hello and welcome to another Pro Quiz demonstration video. Now in this video what we're going to do is look at how to create a course using the Pro Quiz app builder, the Pro Quiz builder. Okay, so um, we've got a bunch of quizzes that we've made already or you've got in your quiz library. Um, we've shown you in another video how to, how to display those on your website uh, and today I'm going to show you how to create a course from your quizzes. So a course might look something like this. This is a sectional test course. It's just got a bunch of different reading tests from the quiz library. Um, this is another one we made for an HR company recruiting salespeople. So here we've just got a listening test and a reading test and a writing test to help screen new employees or new recruits for a company. So how do we do that? We first of all go to the app for ProQuiz. So up here, app.proquiz.com. And as you'll see, we've got my quizzes and my courses and the uh, quiz library. So here we've got all of the quizzes which we include for you in ProQuiz. And you can use all of these as well as the quizzes that you create yourself. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's create a course. Uh, so we'll go into My Courses and select New Course and we'll give it a title and let's call it Demo Today. We'll do a few of these. Um, and we can give it a category. Let's call it General. So here is my Demo Today course. I can add a description if I would like to. I can change that. I can share it. So this will share it with the quiz library, but I'm not going to do that today. Course enrollment, you can either have your course open, so nobody has to pay for it, uh, or you can change it to enroll, uh, where you can set some pricing. So let's go and set a price for this, uh, and also a sales price. So a cheaper sales price and an expiration. So how long do you want your access to your course to last for? It could last forever, or we could set it up for say, uh, let's make it 30 days, okay? So I've set my pricing and my access time, and a thumbnail. Now you don't have to put a thumbnail, but it makes it look much nicer, much more appealing. You're more likely to get success selling your courses if you put a nice thumbnail in. You can insert from a link or you can browse your media library. Um, to save time today, I'm just gonna put in something from our media library we've got here already. So let's just choose this one. We'll save the thumbnail and there you see is our thumbnail. So I can save these changes. So we've got our basic information uh, demo today, and now we need to build a course from it. So this is uh, very straightforward. You need to add a new lesson, and your lesson could be a week one or day one or whatever you want to call your lesson. Let's call this lesson one. And now we need to add some quizzes. So if I click on Add Quizzes, you'll see I've got the full selection of the quiz library. There's a lot in here. Um, I can search by uh, type, uh, or I can look at different number of results per page. But for this exercise, let's just go ahead and choose some, uh, some tests, some quizzes, to show you how it works. So let me choose a speaking, a writing, a reading, and a listening. And I just click on the check button up here. And those, as you see, add my courses, uh, my tests to my course. Okay, add my quizzes to my course. And we'll save those changes. And it's really as simple as that. Let's go back and have a look at this, see what it looks like. So let me refresh my page and you'll see I've got my demo today course here. And let's have a look at that. So we, here we have my demo quiz course. It's all locked. 
I've got a payment on here, so students have to pay me uh, to, uh, to access these. Um, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Let's go back and let's add another one uh, just to show you how to edit a course. So we'll go and edit this demo today. And we'll go back to the builder. And let's add a new lesson. Let's just call this uh, lesson two. And we'll select some more quizzes, a writing, a reading, a listening, and a speaking. And there we go. Now, up here, we've got a preview button. So although, although this course is, uh, is a paid for course, I can make one of the lessons a preview. Uh, so this, uh, this allows uh, your visitors to your site to, to access this lesson without paying. So let me save those changes and we'll have a look at, see what that looks like. Go back into ProQuiz and my courses and view. So here you'll see I've got my two courses, my lesson one and lesson two. And in this case, I've got my lesson one as a preview. So this is unlocked. So your visitors to your website can go in and just do one of these tests. So this is useful for marketing purposes. And that's how you create a course from your quizzes in ProQuiz. I hope that's not too difficult to use and I will see you in the next demonstration video.